Hi, I'm Doug Griggs. I'm with the DC Max Executors of Flying Aces Club. Uh, there's been some question about um, how to load rubber into a uh, model. So I've got a, a, a what's called a dimer um, ME109 and the braided motor that goes in that. And you can see on this uh, 109 that I use an aluminum tube rear peg that's pulled part way out, or almost all the way out. And uh, you can also see that it's um, pushed fairly far forward. So the whole idea is to get the center of gravity of the rubber roughly uh, equal to the center of gravity of the plane. Makes it much easier to deal with things as you change rubber and trim and all that. <clears throat> anyway, you use a stuffing stick like this one here. Uh, basically, it's two little jaws. I'll zoom in here. Um, on the end of a stick with a gap in between them. And you take, the rubber has a, uh, a little O-ring that makes it easier to get it on the, uh, on the prop hook. So you take the opposite end, which is roughly where the knot is, and loop it over the jaws so that the rubber is over the end of the jaws and you have the hole in the middle there. And then what you need to do is take the plane and get an idea of how far down the plane the hole is going to be and I generally try to situate my thumb right there and then you simply stick it down the nose of the airplane down the fuselage and sometimes you can hold it up to the light and sometimes you just get lucky stick the, uh, the pin in a little bit and basically I'm inside kind of fishing for the end of the pin okay and now I've got a little catch on it I can feel that the rubber has caught the pin. So you drive the pin the rest of the way through. There you go. Pull out the stick. And the rubber is set in the plane. So ready to put it on your stooge and wind. Good luck.